Hi everyone. As this series is about functional components and hooks, as such, class component won't be needed. But because there are places where we may compare the functional and the class component, or we may convert some code of class into function to understand the facilities of hooks, we must discuss class component at least once. It is essential that we know the basics of class component and to understand let's convert this functional component which is handling the increment into a class based component remember that class based component creation approach is a kind of older way though it is still in use so if you have prior experience to class component you can skip this section all right so now when i talk about the class component the first thing is react has a component that is capital c component that is a class of react which will help us to implement the base component the next thing the function which we have here this needs to be a class so instead of writing export default function we will say class and the name will be app that's absolutely fine and then we say extends the react component the class component does the rendering in a method called render so we use the render method here i'll put a render method and this rendering of jsx actually should be returned from the render method of a class as long as the state declaration is concerned in the very early react versions we used to put the state inside constructor only but later on react allowed the state declaration outside the constructor and inside the class so here i can say state and as you see now that state is a kind of object literal where i will define the counter so i'll say counter is 0 not only that when it is about referring the cnt because it is part of state we would use this dot state dot cnt looking at this you can make out how easy the hooks approach is now as long as this set count is concerned there is always a set state method we use in a class component to update the state so for this let's take a handle here i'll say increment handle i'll name it as increment handle and this handle or handler will be called so i'm going to declare it here and it is an arrow function here i will use the set state method but as you see the increment handle is not defined that's what it says the reason is this method is also part of the class so i am going to use this dot increment handle now on click of this button nothing happens because we are not changing the state so let's do that also here i will apply this dot set state method remember set state is a react method which helps you to change the state inside a class component also in case of functional component in case of hooks we can have our own setter method which we have already discussed here what you want is every time when handler is called we want to increment the counter so ideally you take a separate variable or you can do within the set state method as well but let's take a separate variable here i'll say first of all whatever state we have we just want to increment it by 1 we want to assign it to a variable and then we update the state that's it so now if i click on increment you can see that the same thing which we used to have in a functional component now we have inside a class component remember we do not use the return statement that is the jsx directly inside a class we ought to have the render method and inside the render method we put the jsx when it comes to declaring a state we use an object literal state is a fixed keyword given by react so it's not something which you are declaring saying that let state is equal to some value you don't do that state is provided by react another thing here is that the render method which we are using is actually a part of component life cycle method 
there are various component life cycle methods the component life cycle methods can be divided into four parts the four parts are mounting updating unmounting and error handling these are the various component life cycle methods fall under each category the methods you are looking at right now are commonly used methods there were other methods also in react as component life cycle methods but gradually all those are merged into these basic methods when i say a component life cycle method that means it is automatically executed depending on the phase or depending on the cycle of the component it's like when the component is built when it is rendered when it is removed from the memory all these are different phases so if you want to handle various events on these methods you can do that you already know that the render method is a component life cycle method and as you can see it is in mounting as well as in updating phase so render is something which is called by react you do not call these methods let's try one example here i will just add a component life cycle method and here i will just say console log and displaying a message that did mount executed let me also open the console now you see that it says did mount executed let me also add component did update so i'll say component did update right these are predefined methods of a class and they are executed when a specific phase of the component has appeared like the constructor which you put in a class is automatically executed right similarly you have these types of methods which have a different phase to execute so component did update i am going to put a console log here and i will say component did update executed let me just refresh you see every time i click on the increment button it says that component did update so this is a method which is in the update phase now you can make out that this is the mounting phase method this is the update phase method right render is a method which is executed in both the cases both in the mounting as well as in updating phase right so component life cycle methods are various methods or in a way they are phases of a component if you want to execute some code at that phase you can certainly use these life cycle methods so at the moment we have just seen very basics of class component there is a lot inside a class component which we can discuss as and when required i'll make sure that you do not face any problem understanding any concept if there is any class component concept is to be discussed the next section is about handling the life cycle method like possibility in the functional component using a use effect hook if you are looking for front end full stack opportunities in the us anag technologies can help you find your next big project also if you are looking to turn up your existing skills in front end that is mean or mern stack you can enroll with one of anak technologies training programs anak tech is supporting my initiative to bring more up to date technical tutorials specially crafted for viewers like you check out the links in the description for more details